Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Johnston Sacco coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription this amazing morning. I want us to pray and then we'll hear the voice of the King. Father, we bless you, we thank you, we honor you, and we glorify your holy name because of who you are. Thank you for your grace, thank you for your power, thank you for your loving kindness, thank you, Lord, for the gift of life this morning. We ask that you continue to bless us and to lift us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I honor you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Good morning. I'd like to speak about a word, favor, this morning, favor. The simplest description of the word favor is an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. An act of kindness beyond what is due or usual, that is favor. Now let's read the Bible uh, in the book of Psalms chapter number 24 and verse number 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord God is a sun and shield. Uh, the Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk, whose walk is blameless. Let's read this verse again. Psalms 84 verse number 11. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those whose work is blameless. Now, many years back, I've preached about being led by night with a cloud of fire or a pillar of fire, and in the day with a cloud. Praise the name of the Lord. And all this speaks about God's direction, God's protection around the people that he calls his own. Now this morning, I'm specifically impressing upon your heart about favor, an unusual kind of unusual kindness towards a person. That's what the, the, the description of the dictionary tells us. A feeling, I mean, it's about an act of kindness beyond what is due or unusual. Now, when we talk about God's favor, we sometimes do not, are not aware or we are not able to interpret why God has done certain things towards our lives. That's what's called favor. Even when you did not deserve, even when you did not anticipate, even when you did not work for it, God still comes, God still comes through for you. That is the favor I'm talking about. So this morning, I'd like to let you know that even when we have not done our best, even when we did not expect it, even when we did not hope for, God still comes through for us and grants us through his own favor, grants us victory, protection, you know, security, uh, our hope and a future, even when we did not deserve it. Praise the name of the Lord. I went to speak to you this morning that God will show and grant us kindness, an act of kindness beyond what is due or usual. Sometimes there is what we get because that is what we deserve. Even when we were born in sin and conceived in sin, God did not treat us as we were supposed to have been treated. We are supposed to have been guilty as child, but God still went through and ensured that he sent his only son to come and die for our sins, that those who believe in him will not perish, but have eternal or otherwise everlasting life. What a kind of favor that God has released to us. An act of kindness beyond what is due. Oh, hallelujah. Now, many things God has done in our lives, he will do, he continues to do, in the name of Jesus Christ. So let us know all the time of our lives that God has always been there to grant to us favor. Even when we did not deserve it, even when we did not merit it, God still comes through and says, my child, my daughter, my son, I have done this because I have favored you. Praise the name of the Lord. So this morning, I want to decree favor in your life. Even that you'll be able to uh, uh, get things in your life that you do not deserve. Those that you have not worked for, praise the name of the Lord. Somewhere else, Bible says, you shall inhabit houses you did not build. Praise the name of the Lord. One of my, one of my friends 
was appointed into a high office, I sent to her the scripture and said, you will occupy houses you did not deserve. It's about favor. Sometimes when people think they're having, having the top of things and God comes through for them, then because of favor, they are disappointed because favor goes beyond what has been planned or acceptable in the name of Jesus Christ. This morning, I decree favor in your life, favor in your business, favor in ministry, favor in family, favor in networks, in the name of Jesus Christ, favor. May you get that which you did not deserve or even that which you did not work for. Am I saying push not to work hard? No. I know we need to work hard. I know we need to do our best. I know we need to pray. I know we need to work. But I'm saying that favor goes beyond that which you are supposed to get. May this be your favor week in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you and I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank you for the favor, divine favor in our lives. Acts of kindness beyond what is due and what we have worked for. I thank you for everybody. Bless our lives, be lifted and be honored. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. I love you all with the love of Jesus Christ. This has been your host, Pastor Johnston Sacco, coming to you live on the Scripture Prescription, your daily morning dose of the word of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.